So, uh, looking at PMBOK guide, uh, this is a distilled version of project management body of knowledge and it coexists with corresponding application area knowledge, uh, general mo management skills and interpersonal skills. So, uh, what is PMBOK guide? It is essentially a standard. Uh, the, it is uh, one of the things that you, you need to uh, understand is uh, PMBOK guide doesn't uh, you know talk about one particular methodology. So uh, methodology uh, like Agile and uh, Prince2 and so on are different than PMBOK guide it takes a, a little bit you know higher level overview in which it uh, proposes 47 processes. <laughs> which are the uh, which are supposed to be the best uh, practices uh, in the project management that are needs to be applied for the project to be successful all the time. <coughs> this uh, PMBOK guide is published by PMI and uh, inputs uh, it takes inputs from practitioners and academics uh, have been included. Uh, how this, uh, okay, uh, it is a digital version, we saw the body of knowledge, it coexists with, there are, this is very important uh, uh, word, coexist with corresponding application, so there is an overlap between <coughs> what PMBOK guide is going to say with respect to your application area knowledge, your general management skill and interpersonal skills, so they are not something exclusive to each other, like they are not uh, standing alone, so if you draw few circles, they are in intersecting with each other and definitely <coughs> there will be certain overlap uh, with respect to application area, general management skills and interpersonal skills uh, which is required uh, to get your PMBOK uh, related 47 processes executed. So they don't, uh, they don't perform standalone basis. This guide is uh, essentially organized into three sections, uh, the project management framework which includes essentially introduction and uh, organ project life cycle and organizational includes these two chapters. Then standard for project management of a project which includes five process group, IPEC, uh, initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and control and closing. Then uh, project management processes for a project, 47 process. So, says, uh, you will see that uh, there are a lot of planning related processes and uh, uh, essentially uh, there are a lot of uh, initiation, uh, closing, execution, but mostly you will see uh, more processes in uh, planning, um, execution and monitoring and control. So these three will have a bigger chunk of uh, processes. Then you have uh, 10 more distinct knowledge areas, so right from integration, cost, time, uh, to scope, uh, till your stakeholder management. So these are all, uh, are your 10 different knowledge areas. So these three uh, uh, numbers you need to, uh, you will you will remember by the end of this course itself, uh, five process group, 47 processes and 10 distinct. I mean, even uh, end of this session itself you will remember, uh, shouldn't see a problem. <coughs> 